Hey there guys, and today we're gonna be talking about the Faultless Professional Formula Heavy Starch, yes. Now, I haven't used the starch for uh, that long, or the brand, uh, the Faultless Professional Starch. I haven't used it for very long. I used to use a different brand, and uh, that brand just kind of wasn't doing it for me, and it came in this lemon scent that I could only find, and I really didn't like the lemon I, fragrance. It made me feel like it was uh, like dishwashing liquid or something. I just didn't want to walk around smelling like that. But this one's really, really, really good. First of all, it leaves your clothes really, really crisp. I am a person that really likes a nice, crisp, crease in my clothing and it really does that it makes everything really really good as far as the creases also it makes it so it smells good it has a Febreze you guys all know what the Febreze smells like it smells like that and it's really really nice it smells fresh I really like that about this okay but there are some things you need to know about, about using it before you do use it. Otherwise, you could have a problem. And this could be with all starches. But specifically this one, you have to, when using it, make sure that you shake this very well first. Shake it very well. Make sure it's all mixed really good. Okay? And then you have to... When you spray it, you have to spray with about six inches between the spray can and your fabric, about six to 10 inches, like, and light, very light, just enough and even on your fabric, right? And then what you do is you make sure that you let the, the, the starch sit in your clothing for like about, a minute to have the, the starch absorb into the fabric. A lot of people will spray it and then start ironing right away and they say, hey, what's this? And they'll see a lot of flaking and everything like that on the, um, the clothing itself and that's not good. So what's happening is it's just not absorbing into the fabric. So you just let it absorb in there for about a minute. You'll see it kind of settling in and then you iron and it'll be just fine, very clean, no problems at all. Also, if you can't, <laughs> for that minute, for some reason, you're like in a, a mad hurry and you just need to get out of town or whatever, <laughs> you can also spray this on the inside of your clothing and iron the inside, do it that way. So if it flakes, you'll have it on the inside and not the outside, but also, you have to make sure that you don't spray it on too thick, okay? If you spray it on too thick, it will flake also. I mean, if it's too thick, even after you let it sit, you will have a flaking issue and nobody likes flakes on their clothes. So that is uh, how you prevent flaking with this. And it's pretty, pretty easy and straightforward. And that's probably how you kind of do with pretty much all starches and but also you also have to remember not to have your iron on too high if it's at a really super high temperature you might get some flaking too so uh, uh, adjust the temperature to the right temperature you know of your iron yes yeah, so also you have to do maintenance on this Okay, I don't know if you have to do it with all the sprays, but this one you do. Okay, see this little top right here? The top, you have to take this off every now and then and soak this in water and make sure and scrub it a little bit and make sure this part here is clean because the starch will clog this hole up and then you'll go to spray it and then it'll be like, Oh God, it's not coming out. What is this on here? And it'll it'll be a 
you know, a big headache. So just make sure you take this off. It just pops right off and just let it soak, you know, just let it sit in there in like maybe a little glass of warm water or something like that and let it sit for like, I don't know, like maybe like an hour, something like that or 30 minutes and take it off, wipe it really clean and then pop it back on and you're good to go again. Yeah, you don't have to do this after every spray, but you should do it like maybe, I don't know, once or twice a week, you know, just to make sure this doesn't become like clogged up. Or some people don't care and they will, if it gets clogged up at that time, they'll soak it then and just wait and clean it off and then go do their thing. But uh, <laughs> yeah, I like to micromanage and, you know, think ahead. So that's just me. But it's a really, really good starch and I recommend it a lot. I will stick with this one. There are probably better ones, but I don't need to go looking anymore because this one is doing it for me. Like I said, I like the scent. Everybody likes Furbri, right? It has that freshness to it. You know, it's just, you know, it gives you that feeling of, oh yeah, this is clean. This is a nice smell. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, yeah, I like it a lot and hopefully you do too. Yeah. Uh, going to traveling pretty soon and I will be taking this with me. It's not very heavy and it fits, you know, in any travel bag. I actually have seen smaller ones of these uh, where you can really travel in a, in a really small pouch. But yeah, you can get these and it is very economical and I'm sure you'll like it. Okay, well, that is the, uh, the Faultless Professional Formula Heavy Starch. Okay, I hope you liked it. Hope you use this information. Go get some and I will see you next time. Thank you.